Well, that's uh, that's me over there. I am not the real me. That's me over there. So don't think that's me, right? <laughs> he doesn't. He didn't believe me. That I'm the clone. That's the original. And you know how you know? Because he's sitting behind the steering wheel, right? Okay. I'll let you talk now. Bye. I'm getting out of the car because that's what clones do. We get in and out of the car. Okay, this is KDEN Live on an Ubuntu Linux computer. And I'm going to show you how to clone yourself to do a video like the one I just did in the very beginning of this video here. Now, this is the actual video that I shot using uh, a DJI Osmo Action camera, which I set on the dashboard. The car is stationary, the lighting is stable. That's very important. What I'm going to do here is I'm recording myself sitting here, and then I'm going to get out of the car, walk around to the back, and get in here and sit in this seat and apparently talk to myself. Then I want to superimpose these two, uh, these two versions of myself into one video so it looks like I'm talking to myself. Now, the very first part of this video, you can see all I'm doing is adjusting the... Rode Lavalier mic to my uh, shirt. Now this is attached to a, a Rode Wireless Go microphone, which is in turn attached to my DJI Osmo Action camera, which is on the dashboard. All right, right about there is where I settle down. So we're going to take this video, we're going to drag it down to the timeline, and then we're going to see what it looks like on the timeline. There it is. And all I'm doing is adjusting the microphone. Now, we don't need this part of the video. We want it where I, where I just, like over here, just settle down as if I'm already sitting there with the microphone already attached. So we'll go forward here with the video a little bit until there it is. And now we're going to press play here. All right, now I'm going to pause it right about there, and that's where I settle down. Now, we're going to need a few tools. If you come up here to Tools, you'll see uh, the two tools we're going to be using are the Selection Tool and the Razor Tool. And you'll also notice there's an S and an X, which is very handy. If I just press S on the keyboard or X on the keyboard, I can switch back and forth between the razor tool and the selection tool. And uh, what we want to do here is zoom in a little bit on this timeline. And then this is right where we want to, we want to delete this part of the, of the video. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to press X. Now you'll see when I do that, it changes the cursor. So we're going to go right on top of that mark there and press the left button of the mouse. And that divided this video into two parts. Now I'm still in the razor tool and we don't want that right now. So we're going to, we don't need it anymore. So we'll press S for select. And you can see the little hand has appeared here. And now we're going to select that first part of the video which is just me fooling around with a microphone and I'll press delete because we don't need that part. And then I'm going to grab this and drag it back to the beginning of the timeline. And I'm going to dra drag this all the way to the beginning of the timeline. And now you can see the video begins with me just sitting in the, in the driver's seat of the car. And I'm not really doing very much. I look to the, to the side, apparently looking at myself. So we're going to pause it there 
and we're going to zoom forward because at a certain point right here, I'm getting out of the car. So get out of the car. I'm using the space bar to pause, start and stop. Right there, I go behind this part of the, the car. And if I keep playing, you'll see me pass across the back window. And then I come up on this part of the car and I get in. And I sit down in the chair here, the front passenger seat. Okay, so <laughs> press the space bar to pause. And what we want to do is we want to go back to where I'm just getting out of the car in the first place and then go to the back of the car. Now you can do this, you know, creatively, however you like. All right, right there, I disappear. I, I went all the way back here and I disappeared behind this part of the car. So now I'm gonna bring the, uh, the mouse over here, I'm gonna press X, and I'm going to split the video right about there. And I'm going to press the left button of the mouse. Now this has divided it into these two uh, separate sections. And press S for select again. And now I have these two videos here. Now, in this second part of the video, this is going to be where I get in the car. I'm going to be sitting here and I get in the car and talk to myself. Now I'm going to appear walking from behind this part here. We don't want to see me walking behind the back window of the car. So we're going to cut that part of the video out using the razor tool. So first we'll put it on play and you'll watch me, because right now I'm standing right here. You'll watch me walking across from the rear window of the car. There we go. All right, I press pause again. Now I'm standing over here. And we're going to cut that part of the video out. I'm going to press X for the razor tool, and I'm going to just cut it right there. Then I'm going to press S for select, and I'm going to select that part where, this is the part where I walk across the back window. So I've selected that, I'll press delete, and it's gone. So now I have two parts of the video. This first part over here is I'm sitting in the front, uh, front driver's seat and in this part of the video over here I get in the car and I'm sitting in the passenger seat. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this video and pull it up like that and then bring it back to the beginning of the uh, of the timeline and effectively I have overlaid this video on top of the old video. Now we don't need this end part here to where I'm turned upside down either. All right, I'm gonna zoom in on this timeline here. What we're gonna do is we want to, the video that's overlaying, we want it to end at the same time. It, both We want both videos to end at the same time. I'm gonna come back to here. I'm gonna press X and I'm going to cut that there and press S for select. And I'm gonna touch that and boom, it's gone. All right, so now both videos end at the same time. And we're going to zoom back out using this little thing here. And here's our whole video sequence from start to finish. Let's go back a little bit further. We want to go back to the very beginning. And... There it is. This is the whole thing from start to finish. Now, what we've done is we've taken this video and overlaid it on top. So where I'm getting uh, into the passenger seat here, that's what we're going to see. But the other video is still there. It's underneath. So when I get into the car here and sit down, we want to keep this part of the video and erase everything else so that the video underneath can show through. So first thing we're going to do, and it's very simple. Don't let this look 
more complicated than it is. The first thing we're going to do is come over here, bring the mouse over to this side of the screen, and you know, this little menu appears. And we're going to click Zoom Out. That's going to be helpful. Now we come here to Effects. And up here, we're going to click Roto, R-O-T-O. -O. And you see Roto Scoping has appeared. So what we're going to do is drag that down here to the top video. Boom. And this message appears. Click to add points. Right click to close shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a box around myself here. And the box is going to uh, be retained. And when I right click, it will erase everything else except what's in that box. Now, it'll make a sharp line here. We want to make that line a little bit fuzzy. So we, that's called feathered width. And I'm going to make that feathered width about 50. This makes a, a line which you can't very easily see. And I'm going to click there. And I'm going to click there. And I'm going to click down. You see the two seats. I'm going to click down the middle there. Over here. And then up here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You see the shape isn't perfect. It doesn't matter. Now when I go in the middle and right click, boom, magically I appear over here on this side. All that's done is it's retained this part of the video and erased everything else underneath it. So the video underneath can show here. And now the video is complete. So if we just go back here to the beginning and then we're going to go over here and we're going to zoom in and we can see what it looks like before we render it all right ready here it goes there you go that's how we do it very simple that's uh that's me over there. I am not the real me. I won't bore you anymore with the video, but you'll see towards the end, I try to time it so we both get out of the car. Let's see how that worked. All right, the clone gets out of the car. And then this guy gets out of the car. <laughs> and there you have it. That's how you clone yourself with KDEN Live on a Linux computer. It'll work like that on any com uh, computer system, whether you're using Windows or whatever, uh, uh, Mac OS or whatever. If you have KDEN Live, you'll be able to use this rotoscoping tool to clone yourself. So if you uh, found this video useful, uh, and then please go ahead and click like subscribe if you'd like to know more about videos that I make and click the notification bell in order that you can learn when we post new videos. So thank you very much for watching.